Hey, hey, what can I say? I made this podcast yesterday on Groundhog's Day, but I didn't get a chance to upload it because, well, the allotted time suddenly was taken away from me that I had to work on it and thus I could not make my nightmare of a show. This nightmare of a show. So without any further ado, here is the latest Mike's Daily Podcast. F to the Y to the I, there will also be another show that will be the actual Sunday show, the Super Secret Sunday show, being released very soon. Keep an eye out for it. Mike's Daily Podcast. Well, this is something called a podcast that Mike Matthews has done or is doing. I'm in the process of doing it. Daily podcast. And it is slightly different because now it's a little bit shorter getting into this part of the song where I sing to you and I know it might be wrong. And here comes Trump saying wrong. Wrong. I have to put that in post. That's a little thing we say in radio. And to most of you, that doesn't mean anything. But hey, it's good to talk to you because. Mike's Daily Podcast. I had a very busy week training someone, and it's always good to train, to learn things, to learn new things. Mike's Some of us get stuck daily in a rut. Podcast. And we get that feeling of. Yeah! I'm doing the same thing day in and day out. I'm learning nothing. I'm just repeating the same day, Groundhog's Day. Hey, today is Groundhog's Day. What a quinky dink there. Hmm? So yes, I haven't done the show in a while, and welcome to F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F F or do they? I don't know. Maybe that's just a mis- misnomer, misthought, a misconception. So 2016, three years ago, I was at the beautiful Jack London Square walking my dog, Basil the Boxer, who will bark momentarily. And let me tell you something. You need to look at photos You need to look at the photos that you've taken in your life. Nowadays, there's no excuse. I know we all have cameras in our phones. And some of us... Actually, I have a Samsung phone. It does not take the best pictures anymore. Once they get a little older, the picture gets a little bit hazy. But I was at Jack London Square, and you can see the picture. And here's today's podcast picture. Thank you, Ariel, at mikesdailypodcast.com. It was a shimmery, beautiful day uh, about... Uh, two years Three years ago Today You can see this picture And it was a day This this time of my life I was not so busy I didn't have everything going on Didn't have all the stress That I do now And I think you need a certain amount of stress But this was A beautiful picture Looking out over towards the uh, What do you call them? The houseboats That are floating over there next to Alameda And you can see that picture at mikesdailypodcast.com This is also right in the general area Right across this body of water that you see in the picture This body of water will If you're sailing in it It will Basil, yes, he was with me that day It will lead you out to the channel And you can head over to San Francisco But here we're on the Oakland side and there's these things that the, this tunnel that goes under this body of water, and it pops out across the water there in the podcast picture. And th- this is a podcast, so you're not seeing this, and I'm not videoing myself at the moment. But take my word for it. And why are photos good? Photos are good. You got to see things. I think you got to take yourself out of your life, out of your moment. Like right now, it's a rainy, drizzly day. At Podcastro Valley 10 We haven't been broadcasting from Podcastro Valley 10 In a long time So this is a momentous moment If that's a word If that's a phrase, momentous moment And the rain's coming down And I'm not worried about the moonroof That I have that leaks I think I got the air uh, I, I, My lovely lady friend found online A YouTube video And that's one of the things If you do not utilize 
there are YouTube videos for everything now, instructional videos. And this this car, I remember when I first discovered this problem several years back. I think I did a search online and there was really no info on it. But my lovely lady friend with her phone just picked up her phone, went to the YouTube app, looked it up. Bam, she found out exactly what was going on. And that was that there are these little holes that all moon roofs leak apparently. And the Saturn that I have, yes, a Saturn, which they stopped making over 10 years ago now, it, but owned by the General Motors company, uh, they put these little drainage holes just below the moon roof. And so the water is supposed to drain out right over the tire, the front tires. And apparently mine got clogged. So you, you clean it out with uh, an air hose of some kind. So I did that and that helped it. But to facilitate, keep it even more dry, I've got an old shower curtain. Yes, an old shower curtain works great as a tarp. Little self-help tip. Little bit of coaching and motivation and self-helping for you today about that. And that is good. And it, and now it, it's uh, hopefully not leaking in there like it has been in the past. The first time it leaked in my car, I just freaked out. I can't stand the thought of water being where it shouldn't be. I mean, water can be in my kitchen as long as it's in a glass or in some kind of container, but not when it's just on the floor or coming through the ceiling or anything like that. It freaks me out. When I lived in Ventura, California, there was this leak that used to happen in the house that I lived in. It was a rental. This actually was a duplex. And the the water would leak right through the light in the kitchen. Yeah. And I'm thinking, if uh, water drips through the light Onto me, am I going to get electrocuted? I didn't quite understand electricity. No, you actually have to have like your hand on the wet light bulb or something to that effect. That's not good. Don't do that. But that's something that that, that would have had to have happened as well. I think. I don't know. I don't know. I was sitting in a room the other day with two electrical savvy people. No, that they know all kinds of electricity stuff. Jarrell, the guy from Jarrell Name was one of the guys talking. They know so much about electricity. I don't even know why they're in radio. They they should they've lost their they've uh, missed their calling I should say, because they knew a heck of a lot about electricity and they're talking all about it. And I I was just huh, what, what? So my point is, I think that was a catchphrase I said I was going to stop using, but you need to look out. And use these things like YouTube and look at look beyond your life and maybe make some plans. I think a life with plans is a life that continues. Of course, the best laid plans of mice and men often go astray. Often, you know, God likes to joke with us and make things that we didn't expect happen. The unpredictable. I guess that makes life interesting too. But at the same time, you should make plans. Be optimistic and have a, have a thought that you're going to be planning a trip or something. Or As we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcastro Valley. Ton. Today. I have to tell you, though, that I've been watching a lot of this YouTube show called Sailing Doodles. And it's a guy who... who had a really hard time He all of a sudden I think had a stroke He was only 30 something And he said you know what I'm getting out of my comfort zone I love to fly I love to sail I'm going to sell everything I have And I'm going to buy a boat A used boat And I'm going to go sailing And he soon uh, Well he also had a love for videoing So he started videotaping his experience And he also realized that if he had a really pretty woman on the boat with him as he was videotaping, well, more people would watch his videos. I found out about it through a magazine called Latitude 38, 39, one of those numbers, 35. My dad used to love these little throwaway books, magazines where, see, my dad was a sailor and he would get away by sailing because sailing takes you away to where you're going to Christopher Cross the bald, amazing 80s crooner. He was bald and he was a pop star. Does that happen anymore, bald pop stars? I think Daughtry was the last one to do that. 
But Christopher Cross, he would, you know, uh, when you get caught between the moon and New York City, the Arthur theme from the movie Arthur. Well, back to, he had a song called Sailing. And, oh, Ride Like the Wind. And I've got such a long way to go. But he talked about sailing. And so in the Sailing Doodles show, this guy, he had on a, a first mate, someone who went sailing with him. That was a woman who was pretty that got people to watch his video because he'd, he'd always put her in the thumbnails for the podcast or for the uh, video cast. And he would do these little episodes. And But the amazing thing was not the pretty women, but the he just shot the most beautiful scenery. So clear. So amazing. He used drones. He just had this fantastic eye. And, well, if you watch it now, uh, apparently one of the women that he ended up having on the boat with him, they, they're an item now. Romance has kindled. And she actually left the boat for a while because she's also a nurse. And she had to keep her nurse license going. So she had to do some time at a hospital. And then she got back with, well, he had these temporary substitutes, these women that could barely speak English that were horrible. They didn't lift a finger to help him. But Laura is the one his, that, that he's in love with, that they're an item. And she's on, and she talks to the camera, and she's a lot of fun and helps him out. And they, they're they somewhere in the Phuket region of the world. I don't know, the Pacific somewhere. And they've got all these beautiful islands and beautiful blue seas, and it's just amazing to watch. And it takes you away from where you are with the rain falling down or the snow or whatever, whatever is happening where you are. Where you are on this Groundhog Day today Hey, we haven't said hi to some of the characters Oh, and sailboats, by the way, are in the podcast picture Which you can see at mikesdailypodcast.com Go there, you can help out the show there And there's also the email address and the phone number If you'd like to call the station 336-MM-DAILY, the station Cafe anyway, where we are outside of at the moment And look who has joined us Hi, Mike! It's Benita the Rodeo Queen. Hey, how you doing? And to this girl, field player, tell you what. What? I think that, wow, it looks like uh, the Dharma and Greg girl and the John Cryer got it on on the TV show, man, without hats. Mm. You mean two and a half men? Yeah, whatever that show. Laura, what's her name? The girl from Dharma and Greg. Laura, Laura, uh, Elfman. Uh, Danny Elfman's um, Yeah, Danny Elfman from Oingo Boingo And who did all those Great soundtracks to Tim Burton movies And to The Simpsons And to a zillion other Oh, he did a Recently did some kind of He did Batman Way back in the day for Tim Burton But he's recently done another Type of Like Avengers movie or something But Yeah And oh, by the way They're all Scientologists don't let Scientology motivate you Don't let that I mean I'm okay with you Having religion motivate you And inspire you That's why it's lasted all this time And people are inspired by it And I don't know There's something beyond it I don't know what's beyond when we die The religion brings People that answer And they have faith And what is beyond and what is above and what we can't see. But look who else is here. Hello, Mike. I make the delicious root beer house right now. Oh, boy. And it's great to have all of you here at Cafe anyway. Anyway. But I got to wrap up the show. Next show, it's going to be the wonderful, Madam, wonderful Madam Rutabaga Valentino and Bison Bentley. But look beyond is what I'm saying. Look beyond. Look beyond your little comfort zone or your average boring day to day that you're sick of look beyond it and you'll find something good I'm sure that's what I'm hoping for it's so funny I'm leaving producing the Rob Black show in the Bay Area that's a radio show he's on a TV station but he's also on the radio and I've been producing his show for the past almost three years and I'm training the guy who's going to replace him Rob Black is not too happy, but he did something very nice for me yesterday. He bought me a bottle of Pliny the Elder, which is not that cheap. And I drank it last night. 
with Basil the Boxer and my lovely lady friend, and it was the most wonderful Friday night. Thank you, Rob. And it was so much fun doing his show all these years. I might once in a while substitute for the producer that I'm training now. But it is, it's, he's got a helpful talk show to help you with your money stuff. But I, honestly, if I had to hear one more time about his dad dying of cancer, oh my God, he drags that out all the frickin' time. Enough. But uh, anyway, it was fun. Next show, more fun stuff, inspirational stuff, hopefully, and thoughts from yours truly, Mike Matthews. Thanks for listening. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.